Hi, Racer's Town. In school, we read stories about Schubert and Sophie, and they are the characters in our Conscious Discipline books. And this past weekend, Conscious Discipline released, released a new story called Schubert and Sophie Stay Home, and I thought that I would read it to you. Schubert and Sophie Stay Home. Things in Bug Valley have been very different lately. Schubert and Sophie have been home for many days. There's a new virus that's making a lot of people stick. Staying home helps keep families safe and healthy, and it helps keep the virus from, from spreading. People all over the world are staying home. The first few days at home together were fun for Schubert and Sophie. It was kind of like spring break or a snow day. They played board games, they played outside, they took family walks, they even worked on a giant jigsaw puzzle together. One morning, after about a week of staying home, Schubert woke up grumpy. He grumbled about doing his schoolwork. He grumbled about being home and missing his soccer games. He grumbled about everything. Sophie woke up grumpy that same day. She cried, I miss my school family. I miss my friends. And I'm angry that my field trip to the zoo was canceled. Their grumpy feelings turned into grumpy actions. Sophie grabbed Schubert's pencil as he did his schoolwork. Schubert yelled, stop, mom, Sophie's bothering me. Mom was feeling grumpy that day too. She snapped at Schubert and Sophie. Can't you just stop fighting? Dad growled loudly, enough. It was like the whole family had forgotten to solve problems. They forgot how to ask for a turn. They forgot how to use their big voice. They even forgot how to take big, deep belly breaths. Some days, staying at home was hard. Mom and Dad heard the frustration in their own voices and felt knots in their stomachs. They looked at each other and both took three deep breaths. Finally, Dad said, it's hard to have so many changes. It seems like we're all feeling big feelings and they like we're sad and frustrated. Mom said, Schubert, you wanted to go to your soccer games and practice with your friends. Schubert nodded. Mom continued, Sophie, you wanted to go to the zoo with your class and play with your friends. Sophie nodded. Mom continued, we can all handle staying home. It's hard, but we can handle it. Breathe with me. And the whole family took three slow, deep breaths together. Their shoulders relaxed, their eyes softened, and the knots in their stomachs faded away. That evening at dinner, Schubert said, one of our assignments from Mrs. Bookbinder is to write down one thing we're grateful for each day. Even after my grumpy day, I wrote that I'm grateful for my family. Sophie had an idea. Let's all share a gratefulness. So they took turns sharing their gratitude. It felt so wonderful that they decided to make sharing gratefulness a regular part of their dinner ritual. Okay, everyone. I know that you all practice breathing when you're in school and we use our big voices and we say, stop, you don't like something instead of yelling and screaming at people. And I know we're having a hard time being home and we're missing our families and our teachers and our students. And everyone is having a really hard time. And I want you to remember that being a star is really important. We stop, we take a deep breath, and then we relax before we make somebody sad. We miss you all. I will see you in our class meetings very soon. Have a good day, Ricerstown.